This is fibre paste part two, which is working with watercolour on fibre paste. So I start with by spreading the fibre paste out onto the surface of the paper. And you can see I'm using a palette knife for this. And I'm not covering the whole paper, but uh, taking it almost to the edges. I've wet the palette knife slightly so that it will have a smoother surface, but it's still like rather rough watercolour paper. Trying to get the scratches out as much as I can. Here it's drying in the sun and I think you can see the structure easier in the shadows there. Now I'm just sketching up some lemons with an ink pen's pencil, which is called mustard. It's a beautiful yellow colour. I've sprayed the surface with water first, and here you can see how the water-soluble pencil is bleeding out into the surface of the fibre paste. Now I'm using another ink pen's pencil called Payne's Grey uh, to add a little definition. And the Payne's Grey goes very nicely with the, with the mustard colour and occasionally gets sort of slightly green in certain areas. Doing the cloth at the bottom there. I love working on fibre paste with these pencils. And it's a great base for watercolour. Right now I'm starting to paint and I'm using Daniel Smith's Nicolazo Yellow, which is just a, a wonderful colour. You can probably see that it's bleeding out into the fibre paste because the fibre paste is wet, but I actually think that's quite fun. Now another layer of Nicolazo Yellow, which is the most amazing colour because it goes from the lightest lemon yellow to the darkest mustard colour. I'm drying it before I go on to the next layer, but you can see how it's bled out into the background. Now the second layer, and I'm using Daniel Smith's Permanent Brown mixed into the yellow to warm up the lemons. And I'm leaving small areas of light where the light hits the, the, the lemon peel. You'll be able to see that a little more closer up later. Right, now the leaves, and I've got a little yellow left on my brush, so I'm now mixing with Daniel Smith's uh, Lunar Blue, which is a very exciting colour. Here you can see the close-up of that, um, how Lunar Blue reacts um, with the black little black flecks that it, it um, forms, and then this turquoise effect. I just love lunar blue. It's mixing slightly with the yellow, and of course we're getting an automatic green. Little Payne's Grey Ink Tense Pencil again for definition. And then here in the background, a little more lunar blue. You can see there where the fibre paste ended and the uh, watercolour took over the watercolour paper. Here you can see the same thing again but from above. You can see where I'm placing the placing the lunar blue, placing the shadows of the leaves, and then with the ink pens pencil again. These ink pens pencils are just marvellous. I love the way they work on uh, fibre paste. Background up here with lunar blue again. Later on you'll be able to see the details of what happens, how the turquoise forms in that lunar blue. Right, now I'm um, defining the lines a little bit more with a Payne's Grey Ink Tense Pencil and then adding a little lunar blue again to the leaves. And now I've mixed uh, the Nicolazo Yellow with a little permanent brown to make a terracotta colour. You can see there in the close-up. Now a little shadow, and I'm bringing it out with a colour called Daniel Smith Shadow Violet, which is actually a complement colour to the yellow. And so when I paint on top of the yellow, it uh, forms a brown-grey tone with the yellow lemons. A little more permanent brown to warm them up again. And a little Nicolazo yellow there to brighten it up and dabbing off where the, the light hits the lemons. 
keeping those light spots. Now a little more shadow violet just to increase the shadow and bring the lemons out. Just keep doing that here and there. And a little luna blue there. And here you can see how it looks so far close up there. Right, now I've decided to put some paint some checks on the cloth below, um, which I think gives balance in the picture. I'm using the Glazo Yellow for that. Then I'm going to use the pencil again, the mustard pencil, and just do a few lines. I just like the way that uh, breaks up the perfection of those, those checks somewhat. And because the surface is wet and it's got paint on it, um, it also uh, spreads out into the background. So you can see a case up there. I've also sprayed it slightly with um, a little uh, spray bottle of water. Right, I'm just going to add another little colour there. This is Daniel Smith's Green Gold, and this is quite a bright green, which I'm just lightening up some of the leaves with. And at the top there, you're going to see how it mixes with the lunar blue. It mixes with light lime, lime green. Now a little more permanent brown again, just to warm those up. A little dark there, that spot in the middle there, so it's lifting a bit of colour there. That's better. And here you can see the granulation of the lunar blue on the structure of the fibre paste. They work so well together. So that's it. That's how to use watercolour on a fibre paste background. And I must say it works really well.